Hey guys, and welcome back to Mulberry Branch Farm. It's Ashley here with you again, and today's a little bit different. Usually we're out in the barn with the goats, out in the coop with the chickens, the turkeys, and now with the Muscovy ducks that we just got on our farm. But today we're not in any of those places. And the reason is because it snowed only a few inches, but now it's raining. So we've got some really slick, slushy stuff outside that kind of prevents us from doing really anything in the barn that's productive and not that messy. So today we're actually going to be painting one of our shallow boxes for a beehive. I've wanted to do this for a long time, but if you, any of you remember or have been with our channel long enough, you know that back in April, before we were ready, we were called to go catch a honeybee swarm at a friend's house. And I had all of these dreams that I was going to paint all of my boxes, beautiful rainbow colors. They would be themed, they would be artistic, they'd be beautiful. And while I really like the classic white for our beehive shallows and brood boxes, this girl's colorful. I need to have a little color out there. I want it to be just a little bit different. So since it's the winter time, and one of the last videos we did were tips on things that we as beekeepers can do in the winter to help set us up for success in the spring along with our bees. If you missed that video, that's going to be linked up top. But today we're going to be painting. I know it's a little bit different, but I'm really excited to try something different with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and be painting these. I really don't even have a plan for this. I'm gonna kind of just let it go where it goes and take me where it wants to take me. We have two different boxes, both shallows for our eight frame beehive. Um, we do our beekeeping in Langstroth style hives which is pretty widely accepted, but there are a lot of different kinds of hives out there and I've seen a lot of them adorned and painted in a lot of different ways. So come along with me today, let me embrace my inner Bob Ross and let's get to painting. As you guys can see, I've got my workspace set up. So I've gone ahead and protected my kitchen table with just some cardboard, but you can use newspaper, scrap paper, anything that protects the surface that you're going to be painting on if you wanna keep it protected. I have to admit, a lot of my kitchen tables in the past had paint all over them, and I won't say that this one doesn't, but I didn't want you guys to see that. So I've got my, um, my shallow or my medium box here, and you can just tell I've got it up off with just a couple of, um, just with a couple of tacking nails to keep it up and off of my cardboard, because I don't want this to stick and just kind of want to keep it clean where I can make sure to get full coverage on this box without having to work too hard. So let's get to it. As you guys can see, we're going to have a lot of different brushes at our disposal here. And the reason I like to have so many brushes available to me is to achieve different types of coverage, different um, depth, different texture, thicker lines, thinner lines, and the more brushes that you have available to you, the easier it is to accomplish those things. You can see that I've got my whole cart full of paint. Well, it's not all paint. There's a lot of crafting stuff on the bottom, but I do like to use the Apple Barrel acrylic paint. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, basically anywhere that sells crafts or, or painting materials. Um, I like to use these just because they, they cover easily, comes in a lot of different really vibrant colors. And keep in mind, at the very end of this project, we will make sure to seal the shallow that we're going to be putting back onto our beehive in the spring because it's going to be subject to all of the elements outside and we want to make sure that our artwork lasts a little bit longer than a year. Startled our eyes, we let 
here we are a day later. These bad boys are all dry. They're ready for their protective coat, which I will put on probably later this afternoon. And I'll probably do two or three protective layers just to make sure that these boxes can withstand any of the weather that East Central Indiana gives us, which can be anywhere from well above 100 to down in the negatives. So, um, and rain and snow and sleet and all that other stuff that you can think of. <laughs> But you guys can see I kind of use like warm tones on this and blended in the middle. And these are bees in all kinds of different poses. I've got some, I wanted to kind of lighten it up because I find warmer tones are pretty harsh, especially when that's all you use. And even more so when you layer a black profile over top of them, it makes them seem even more harsh. So I've got some really nice little blue splatters that I added to kind of break that up. And in the front, it's just real plain. On the sides, here's where I did it. And you can see on this side we did mostly just like a black honeycomb so you'll see like the front and the back are just really plain you don't get any of like the real details until you're on the side so there's that one and i i personally i'm a fan of this one this is my favorite and my husband as we were as he was watching me paint this said this is the winner for him so i'll probably mirror a lot of other um projects with our beehives because i actually have um, a deep and two shallows that are 10 frame that I kind of want to coordinate, but he really seemed to like this pattern and, and I do too. And really all it, you can see, and it's the same on this. So we only have a couple of really distinguishable different features on a few sides. So we've got like a little cute little honeybee and I've just used warmer tones for the honeycomb. And I just went through and did, you guys saw, all I did was put, um, round circles and I kind of stagger them so we can do the honeycomb pattern but sometimes you have to really think about that if you're going to have your honeycomb going this way or that way so that'll kind of affect in what way you place your circles the only thing I really wish I would have done and maybe it's a better on this corner right here you can see like I didn't take this pattern and make it go around it like it stops and there's a new pattern on the other side and I wish I would have taken a little bit more forethought because that would have been really neat. But I think with our 10 frames, I'll probably do that. And I'll do the same concept with those, a really nice, cool background with warmer hues on the top. And I just use like a nice bright orange to kind of make the honeycomb. And I know like they're messy. They're not 100% like prim and proper and, and precise, but I kind of want it to show that this was hand done. So, but yeah, you've got a, a cute little bee on this side and she's got her little pollen pants on they're all full of pollen and then on this side which this will be the front of this shallow when we put it on and you guys can see i've just done like a nice little um, warm toned sunflower there along with more honeycomb and more honeycomb so this was really fun to do can't believe you got an egg out there you know this is just kind of a fun project to do in the winter time when it's too cold to be doing anything else really with your bees rather than monitoring if you can hear them and on those warm days feeding them. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video today. I know I certainly enjoyed sharing some of my creations with you all and I hope that if you did enjoy the video that you let me know by leaving me a like, dropping me a comment, and subscribing. But if you subscribe make sure that you ring the notification bell so that you get notified when we're doing something new, neat, or cool here on Mulberry Branch Farm. And as the weather picks up outside, so will we. You'll get to see our bees. We're getting ready to go into kidding season soon. We have donkeys, goats, all of that good stuff. So in the meantime, guys, make sure that you're being kind to one another out there and staying safe. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.